Hi everyone, we're here, I'm Yummy Will. In this video, we're gonna talk about Langrisser, Langrisser 1. If you're waiting for the remake of Langris 1 and 2, they're gonna be on Switch, PS4, and Steam, this is the right video for you to watch. So, before we begin, please read this subscribe button and don't forget to check our Discord. Let's go. A quick disclaimer here, I'm not a Japanese, Germany, or English speaker, native speaker, so if something goes wrong in here about pronunciation, you know why. For trying to avoid spoilers, I'm gonna divide this video in four parts, okay? So if you don't want to receive any spoilers, you just watch the part that you want to watch. So, I'm gonna explain for you how this is gonna work. The first part, I'm gonna explain the company that make the game and everything that ga comes before the game. The second part, I'm gonna talk about the characters and the locations, like the kingdoms and anything else, but I'm not gonna give you any spoiler specific about the character, I'm just gonna talk um, the name of the character and what he is or she is and where they come from, just that. And I'm not gonna use anything like any character that only appears in the final of the game and things like that, just minor things. The third part, I'm gonna talk about the game, see? anything about the game from the opening to the end and the fourth and final part I'm gonna talk about the expectations for the remake specifically my expectations for the Lundgren's 1 remake so let's begin the video First part. So, in this first part, I'm gonna explain that the company they make, Langrisser, was Masaya Games. And in 1996, they create Team um, Career, Career Soft, um, for developing and create Langrisser. Specifically, Langrisser 1 and 2. And of course, they make uh, and help making all the other games after. This, if you don't know CareerSoft, um, basically in 2001, Atlus acquired CareerSoft, and because of that, they create for Atlus Grow Lancer and the Devil Survivor series. Besides Langrisser, they also create the Ifleet trilogy, Ifleet, Crest of Gaia, and Guy Frame, and these games are connected with Langrisser. Specifically, the second one I'm gonna talk about in this video, because if lead don't really have a story, Crest of Gaia is an enhanced remaster remake of Ifleet, and Guy Frame is a story in a far future that has even giant robots, so doesn't really matter for Langrisser, at least Langrisser one. Um. What do you have to know about Langrisser 1 connection with Crash of Gaia is that Langrisser 1 was developed and released as a sequel to Crash of Gaia, a direct sequel. And we're gonna see more about that in part, the third part of this video. But 
state change some time ago and this is not what it looks like so it's more like Crest of Gaia is now an alternative timeline but when they released the game was to, supposed to be uh, Longest One was supposed to be a sequel from Crest of Gaia now part two I'm gonna talk about the characters and the nations let's see um, we have the nation or the kingdom of light which is the name of Baltia again sorry for pronunciation I'm not a native English German or Japanese um, so we have the kingdom of light Baltia and we have also the Dalsis Empire um, from the Baltia we have Ilzak, which is the king, and that's the only thing that I can tell you about that. Um, we have also Ledin, which is the prince, which means son of Ilzak. We have Volkov, which is a knight, an old age knight. We have also Nam or Narm. Um, she is the leader of all the army responsible um, for the army um, we have also Jessica which is the mage of the Kingdom of Light Baltia um, we have also Taylor Taylor is a pirate and uh, that's what I can tell about him. He's a sea pirate. Um, we also have Hawking and Thorn. Hawking is a duke from south of, um, and Thorn is his norm, which means um, Thorn is the chief of the army of his dukedom. Um, other than that, we ha also gonna have Albert, which is a lord, uh, subside from Baltia, in some place. And from the Dalsis Empire, we have Digos, which is the emperor or Kaiser, as say in Germany. I think Kaiser will be better. I probably gonna just use Kaiser on this video. So you know that means Emperor. Um, we have Sir Gahlius, which departs the name Sir, he's a mage. We have Sheld, which is a general um, of Dalsus Empire. Celia, another general from Dalsus Empire. Laius, Laetitia or Laetitia, and Lance, all general from the Dalsus. Empire and basically this is the characters the important characters of the game um, we have more characters but technically will be a spoiler talking about them so we're gonna leave for the third part hi everyone this is gonna be the third part so if you just skip the video for this part be aware that this part it will have the most spoiler for everything connects with the game because they're gonna talk about the game so let's begin with the opening of and then we begin the game um, even if in the opening we see the castle basically destroyed the castle looks fine in the game at least um, and Ilzak is not bad that's good Apparently, he was just sleeping really badly. Um, with we have the first mission, which is basically uh, fly, flee. I will say fly, uh, flee from the castle because Ilzak has to protect his son, which of course makes sense. And with him, he wants Ladin to go with Volkov, which is his 
basically protect her, it seems so. And with Norm, which I don't think is a really good idea because she is the leader of the army and probably the most strongest of all the characters. If not in the game, at least on Baltia, she's sure the best warrior by far. And she's just living with letting. Of course, uh, after that, Kaiser Digos just controls Baltia and letting just flee. In scenario 2, finally for the first time, letting knows Chris, which is gonna be his love. Love. Um, Chris is a nurse. I'm gonna say nurse? Like, she's a healer. You know that. Um, and she's just passing by, and some bandits or Shika tribesmen is trying to attack her. I'm gonna say attack her because I don't want to say anything that I was thinking. Um, I don't know if Shika gonna be really important in the remake, but I don't think they look like important for many reasons. So I'm just gonna put, of course, an image of him, but they not look like that much important for me. Also, in this mission, you see Torn and Hawking for the first time. Torn, if you remember, is the Duke, and Hawking, I mean, wait, no, Hawking is the Duke, and Torn is the leader of the army of he of his Dukedon. So they all go to Saurav, I don't know how to say that, I think Saurav and Hawking with Lading, Torn, Chris, Chris now with everyone. Um, I, I forgot to say Narm goes back to help Ilzak, if, if they still are alive there of course, I don't think they are. But somehow the Chica tribe happens to appear again. Again, I, I, I don't really know if I'm gonna mention them again. I don't know if they're that much important as a character. After uh, saving everyone, Nam arrives saying that Baldia fall. And she don't know if uh, the king is alive but probably he is already dead of course <laughs> like makes no sense if i was attacking a kingdom the first one that i, I i'll be sure to kill after i win the battle if he's another dad of course will be the king with that uh they prepare themselves to uh Restore Baltia. Uh, Hawking gonna pick it up uh, an army and reunite everyone, and Torn will help leading in his path. And then we saw for the first time Lance, Lias, and Laetitia. Lance the Black Knight. <laughs> Lance call shot. It's just a, a important thing. Like I think. The, Lance is the only one that receives a surname in this game. I'd probably be forgetting someone. But I think... Well, uh, yeah, I think it is. They won and go to the Baldia castle to the great general Shaud is already there with Celia the just go where Sheld is. Of course they win against Sheld, because of course they're gonna win. And ah oh, yeah, I forgot to say Sheld is dead. After that, of course, some bad news happen and apparently a part of the kingdom 
a fortress named Enzo or Enzo Fortress is falling under Dulce's attack. And then we have a lord named Albert that is trying bravely to resist the attack. Oh yeah, I forgot, Lance and Lias are somewhere close to that as well, which don't make any difference for us, at least. After that we have a scenario that don't really have importance, but scenario 9 has something important. Celia, the general that helps shout all the time, finally dies. You can kill her or let the monster uh, kill her. I, I really don't think the monster can kill her, don't remember, but I think uh, they can. But whatever, you can kill her and she's dead from this scenario for the future. Um, scenario 10 don't really matter that much, nothing really important happens. And scenario 11. Scenario 11 we have Castle Dulces, which is everyone going to Dulces finally for the final showdown and confronting uh, Kaiser Digos and Sir Gaius, Sir Gaius the uh, mage that we see on the opening. Also, if you're playing uh, some of the older versions, we can see him in the opening. I don't know why they choose Sir Gallius to the opening, don't make that much sense. He's, no, uh, he's not so important character. But okay, we finally uh, win, of course, against Dulce's Empires. Lance refusing to believe and letting that the sword needs to be locked and everything else. And Lias appears, he didn't appear a long time, and helps Lance to flee. Which is because that uh, Lias is a really good boy. I really like him. Um, after that, everyone goes to the bottom of the castle and defeat finally Digus. And then we have a really emotional moment with him. He's saying that uh, uh, everyone, uh, Leding and Narm and Baltia in general, is just like him because power is the only thing that the world needs and unification and everything. And they say, no, that's not uh, war, no, but they do. The <laughs> it's, it's amazing. They did the same thing. But I'm gonna talk more about in the final of the video. They basically say that uh, Digo say that unification by force is the only uh, path to peace. But they say no, no, that's not. But I'm gonna kill you and uh, control your kingdom. <laughs> like it's not exactly the same thing. The only difference is that. Digo's not really caring that much about darkness and stuff like that, and you are, but I really don't know if they really, if Digo's really know about that. And of course, more darkness, he dies, oh yeah, Digo's dies! <laughs> and more people, more skeletons, I don't know what it, that thing was, <laughs> ghosts. And the castle is falling! This game really likes to make castles falling, that's for sure. And everyone flees, of course, no one even probably is injured or anything like that. Now that Diggles is defeated and Dulce's empire is completely destroyed, what happens? Langris seals broken, of course, and something really bad should happen, right? So our friends, our heroes, discover a village that is turned into stone, supposedly by the darkness that flees from 
all like the ghosts that we are seeing. The funny thing about this mission is I really like this mission, it was really easy and you just need to protect and uh, release everyone from stone and becomes even easier because one of the people they are turned into stone is Lance. Yes, Lance. And of course, he helps you to defeat him. He, of course, makes everything so much easier. Because Lance is a badass and he controls a dragon. I mean, at least on the gaming play, not in the story. So, makes that fight so, my, so much easier. And, of course, after that, Lance becomes one of us. One of us. One of us. After that, we discovered that uh, someone is controlling an evil aura. His name is Nagia. I'm gonna say, I, I will make a joke about his name, but forget it. <laughs> it's too easy. Of course, our heroes help everyone, and now we have an evil dragon. Evil. One thing to say about this dragon is the way they present on this game is like dragons are one of the strongest of all demons, which means like so dragons are all always bad things because long I I think I said that before, but Lungers one was released to supposed to be a sequel to Crash of Gaia and in Crash of Gaia in I think scenario 7 I think and the last scenario as well we have Lucius the goddess of light that also is the god of light in Longrester even if she did not appear in this game uh, she appeared in Crash of Gaia in these two scenarios and fight you, we can use her to fight as a white dragon. One funny thing about this scenario is we find a stone. Uh, Lance said that he find the stone a long ago. Uh, okay, I don't think that information really matters that much. But in the stone, it said that a long time ago, Velzaria, the kingdom of darkness, uh, unleash darkness in, in the universe and uh, a kingdom of light wielding a Lungerser uh, confronts them and defeats them and it's a funny thing because they, uh, and of course King Ilzark is mentioned I mean King Ilzark, sorry <laughs> King Sigver this is the plot of Crest of Gaia when we have uh, the Kingdom of Light and Velzaria and King Z Zihard and also they use Lungrisser, the sword there and again I, I already say this I think two times that Lungrisser 1 was supposed to be a sequel in um, some way distant future not too close not too distant and that's supposed to be a reference to that game to the battle and Leticia is uh, thinking about that hmm hmm now we have scenario 17 when we finally meet Bozer or Booza as uh, Germany pronounce I think sorry if he has any Germany here Nagia that we defeat some times ago and Nicholas which is of course the mage because Every kingdom has to be a mage. One thing about this scenario is Nicholas control one of your party members, usually I think Narm and Chris. I don't know why these two in the end or in the beginning of scenario 19. Lance decides to stay behind to uh, in, to go against the army because are more and more soldiers coming and no I gonna 
stay here. And we have an emotional moment between him and Arm, which makes no sense because we didn't see any uh, talk between the two. Like, Lance basically became part of our group in the last second. And now, supposedly, they are a couple? Like, he's saying, oh, now I'm saying, you, you should not be, uh, protect yourself, please, don't die. And they say, no, don't worry, dear. Like, wait, what I lose something? <laughs> it's basically, uh, I understand that it's an old game and they don't waste waste time with development of characters but that was a funny moment i would say that because it, it, it's supposed to be an emotional moment but it was a funny moment because it was not so well developed before that finally in scenario 20 we have to fight bowser or booza and of course we win and kill him, um, but before something happens and Chaos take control of him, if you don't know Chaos who it is, Chaos is the god of darkness and he was the one controlling everything from the beginning. You know how it has always happened. And if you play Crest of Gaia, you also know him because he was the dark dragon. Oh, before I forget, Bowser die and Chaos supposedly die. God can die. I don't know. <laughs> um, now talk about the endings. I have some things to say. Uh, first of all, Leading becomes the king. Or of course, he's the next to be the king. So of course that would happen for him, and he does basically everything that Ziggles was saying that he was doing and how he are so close and let's say no we're never gonna do this and he does exactly this uh, and he marries Chris and have a son and the peace reigns in the continent for 100 years that's a lot of time Volkov oh my god I forgot how Volkov Sorry, so just a second. Volkov dies! Yeah, Volkov dies in scenario 5. I think I forgot to mention that. <laughs> just the most uh, emotional part of the game, probably. Uh, he tries to protect Lady from an arrow. Chris, 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 as I, as I told you, she became a queen, married with Lady, and have a son. And that's just what I have to say to her. Just that. Um, one one thing that is uh, interesting is that she has another ending. I don't know how we can get that, but supposedly she uh, continue doing her her thing and goes uh, become a nursery uh, in a mountain, something like that. Which don't make much sense. I don't know how you can get this ending. I don't know if it's a suppose another one of the so many versions that the game has. Because originally what I think was the game just have one ending. But okay. Um, Namu. Namu or Narm is... You know that she was the best warrior and leader of the army so she goes away i don't know why letting let her go away of the kingdom like your best warrior and leader of your arm but she goes and in some point she finds lance to construct a new kingdom the shaw cut kingdom you remember that lance has a surname as well uh, how king Hawking goes back to his Dukedom and becomes uh, Sauroth becomes pro prosperly 
almost as the same as Balthia, which I don't think that's possible since Balthia is now the greatest power of the continent by far. Thorn. Thorn is the one that makes less sense because in the beginning of the game we see that Thorn have a family and he left his family to help Lady because of course his uh, duke uh, ordered him but now the, the, the war hap happens to finish he don't he don't go back to his family he don't go back to his duke he don't uh continues with letting in Baltia. he just go away like what the hell was that jessica make uh remains on Baltia and helps to transcript demonic attacks what the hell was that the only thing that i was thinking was that stone but she didn't hear that, read that before like she, he became uh, the leader of the novel part of Baltia, which I really enjoy. Why, <coughs> why Albert became the knight? Like Narm is so bad to him. <sighs> anyway, uh, of course, Lance became. Oh, the funny thing is, uh, he his body was now found in the battlefield, and he apparently lose his memory and uh, walk away, <laughs> which is pretty convincing. Like uh, he was in a war, and things like that could happen. And then he finds Narm some way in the future and then he he covered his memory and with the teacher ties <laughs> um i don't know exactly when because the game don't really expect to fight but appears to be when lance was retreating with lias and she protect him so she dies and apparently lance thinks that was because of um, Nicholas or Nagias, I forget. Um, but that all happens off screen, so was kind of weird. And of course, no one knows what happens to Laius. He probably is dead or already. <laughs> With the last part, the fourth part, when I have to explain to you my expectations for Long Racer 1 Remake. If you skip part, the third part, when we saw the game and I explained my, uh, everything that happens in there, um, you should skip this part as well, because I'm gonna have to talk about the game itself to explain my expectations. So, here we go. Um, what I'm expecting from the remake one of the things is the character design. The character design is one thing that I really into. Um, and I already see some part. You have to understand that I, I think I see two seconds of one of the trailers, so I know the new design for letting and I think for King Ilzak I don't really remember uh, but letting's new character design I, I, I see so I'm really looking forward to see the new character design for all the characters um, I'm gonna make a reaction to all the trailers and character designs for the remake but later, okay? Not now. We're gonna finish the Langrisser review games before. One other thing that I'm really excited to see is the relationships, the romance relationships and the uh, king, royal, uh, knight relationships. There are 
we have so many relationships that are so bad or just bad um, develop, which is really sad. Um, I'm really looking forward to see more of some characters like Jessica. If you ever play any other Langrisser games, you know why. Um, also, Taylor. Taylor was my favorite character in this game by far. Um, Albert, I didn't like that much, but it's not that I hate him. Um, I, I expect that we can play more with Lance because we just can play with him for such a short amount of time and would it be good if we can play more with him. Volkov, ah, Volkov, I just give you a really nice animation cutscene for that moment, like you deserve. Also, I think I forgot to say, Leticia dies. Yeah. Leticia dies! Um, that was really sad. Um, that's at Nam or Norm. Um, she's really badass and should have to stay in Baltia. I don't know why the kings in this game are so bad on always letting the best knight, the best warrior, leave the kingdom. Ilzak did this and die. Letting do this and well not die because the game ends. And Dalsy did this, which with him makes sense. But Narm is so a good warrior and a good character. Even if her relationship with Lance was really bad developed. Um I liked the couple, I have to say, but was just out of nowhere. Like Okay, so they they are now a couple. So when? When I lost that. <laughs> um, oh yeah, um, the Chica tribe, uh, the Chica tribe, right? Um, I almost didn't talk about them, but they. I I really want they have more importance because. I can really give them credit for for the for at least for the game. Um, Dalsis Empire, like Kaiser Digos. Um, I really want to see um, because the thing is, outside Namu, Narm, and Taylor, that were for me the best characters by far. I'll say the Digos was the best kid. Um, Dick was right by everything and I think that he don't even knew about Lungers being uh, protecting the world and everything. If he, he could see the darkness wouldn't be the same thing? Like most things don't make sense of that. So I, I like Digo's character. I'm expecting to see more of him. Um, one more. I, I want to know if Lyas is dead. <laughs> no, really. Like, what happened to you, Lyas? Really? <laughs> um, I think it's dead. Uh, I, I want to see the gameplay, how it is. It is uh, close, what happens on Lungers Mobile. Uh, for the matter, I play Lungers Mobile a while, uh, just a little. So I'm I'm want to see if they're like close to that will be cool. Hmm. Well, I think it's that. Um, I'm gonna probably make, as I say, I'm probably gonna make a video talking about the uh, reaction talk to the trailers and character designs. But before that, we gonna make. A video talking about Langers 2. Um, please tell me if you like this video more this way that I did, um, the way that I did the pilot, 
the way I don't know a gameplay maybe um, maybe not a gameplay because I want to finish the games quickly uh, if they are not that long but I just want to make one video and not too long for them um, say what what style you like more and don't forget to like subscribe discord and patreon bye until longer 2 see you